Okay. You are invoking first amendment. That's the first amendment. I have just clarification. I just want to know. That is, in the first case, I mean, first topic, you are doing simulation and then you are trying to find time time correlation and then you are taking a Fourier transform. And in the real part, you are calculating the CB or CP. And the imaginary part gives you the inverse of that, gives you the lifetime. That's what the, that's what the, yes, so, so, the, so the, in the simulation, it depends upon the force field. So, as good as the force field, the better you will have result. That's not yeah, right. absolutely. But the, what happened is 220 Kelvin phenomena is universal. Whether you do tip 4P, you do XPCE, uh, tip, uh, tip 5P, non -jamadi. that would be at 240 Kelvin or 247 Kelvin. SPCE gives it 220. P4P uh, 2005, which is the base, give 220. Uh, then SD2 give maybe 205. So, phenomena is seen in everywhere. Another small question. Right? So, 5 coordinate and 3 coordinate, is there any experimental proof that uh, this situation? Yeah, that's true. That you can you see them in, uh, in many places. In, uh, it is in a very small clusters of water. Yeah, clusters of water, but I think human Jana at that time looked into that you find them. It is in, it is in a Berry Rice and Ross boom also, these things, and there are experimental uh, evidence of that. That in water it is okay that, that uh, people know. Okay, Vimal. So, uh, between these two, three coordinated water, you said O2H1 is. Responsible for the anomaly. Oh, which one is for the reactive species, if we can call it. Okay, so, uh, so that means it is a high energy species. That's the highest. But the energy is not that high, little higher, but not that much. It's the reactive species, it's the lifetime is very small. And so it quickly changes its partner, quickly means this is everything slow here, but in the time scale of the other guys. So I have one which is a lifetime. Did you put the right tape, uh, we want the yes. right uh, This one on the Why? Only one glass transition. Okay. Let me see that. that is, there is one here where we have the lifetime of each species. Uh, okay, yeah. The lifetime of each species. Okay. So, this one is lifetime. Uh, fraction is one is lifetime also. Each one, this is the one which behaves differently and this is the one which I showed shows the characteristics and this is the one which is lifetime is much smaller. So, so this is the guy whose disappearance leads to glass transition. And it is uh, about an order of magnitude or more. Uh, li uh, lifetime is smaller than is much faster than this guy. Yeah, because why am I asking that? You remember that uh, uh, the paper we had first mm -hmm. showed that the fast transition, even the five coordinated species fluctuation catch the fast transition mm -hmm. around 250 or 240. Yeah. But second one, second, feet, huh? second one is actually the uh, five coordinated species does not show anything in the second one, only the O2H1 shows. Do you do O2H1 or do you want it? Both. I thought okay. you did both together. Both but you did not make the distinction. Yes, that's the Okay. No, I, I, I read that paper also. Yeah. We did not make this distinction no. with the other one. So, no, a lot of questions. No, go here. Is nobody asking me about go here. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 let me ask. Ah. Actually, in this photosynthesis, you see that they, it involves a lot of chlorophylls. Uh, and Levine has done some experiment that after certain time, it makes a transition from quantum to classical. What is? Can we explain or interpret or say something? Well, I, I explain everything. Don't worry. Now, the classic, quantum to classical transition. Quantum to classical transition means there is a delocalization. There is localization. So, uh, then it would be like this in my picture. I think Devu can tell much more. That is the oscillations. As I said, coherence, you have a multi time and multi space together. So, after some time, now, what is the coherence propagated? Coherence propagated because in all the systems there is, okay, let me there. In these systems, which is very different from 
the molecular system immediate student okay. okay so the hamiltonian i have to write it hamiltonian has the following part now one part so here is the is constant j other part is a factorial part that is both diagonal and off diagonal so this part is a off diagonal part then that is constant the sole reason of coherence in graham system is because constant off diagonal coupling if you do not have constant off diagonal coupling you do not have coherence that is number one that's why to an extent one can say Graham's experiments are finding out the Hamiltonian. Graham's experiments find out what is the competition between J and V. Okay. Now, uh, okay. Now, look at the following thing. Your same mark means. The, all the uh, like the size, all the G, uh, Vt, they are uh, up and down together. This is a extreme, uh, as unrealistic case for a model. Independent bar, each of them are different. Real story is in between. There is a correlation in space, and the correlation of space is the reason for the uh, the decay of coherence. That means the lack of correlation between them. So if my Vt so look here, in the same path case, which is an extreme limit, you have the j square, j square. However, in the independent path, when Markovian and long time limit, you get a, this following combination. It's a beautiful combination. Haken and Reinecker didn't have this. They have it in a gamma OD and gamma D or something like that. This, and this we know from already from statistical mechanics, V going to infinity, V going to infinity, V square by V constant is the Markov. We have a great constant in Markov. That we know from quantum statistical mechanics, time dependent quantum statistics or master equations. So, what can give rise to localization is if your correlation, the path that is fluctuating, you have a slow path that is fluctuating, it has to be partly non Markovian, otherwise, you won't get coherence or you get a short deep coherence. So when the, the, your fluctuation size that it is destroying your uh, your role effect of J, then you can see the coherence is decay. Now whether I can call that a transition to a classical limit, I'll be very, I'll be a very, a, whether you can use that language, I'll be doubtful. I would rather say the coherence is done. That would be the better language. I don't see in a finite system like Graham's, I don't have to What we have done, we have done uh, these kind of rings. Okay, huh? We have done these four up to six hexama. Same picture emerges there, except now you might have to take it off diagonal couplings. That gives it like in a irreducible representation. There is no way such a system can be called a classical system. If you say that the classical system is the where coherence is dying, my population transfer will become make a crossover. That now I, you can say that this guy after oscillation, it is kind of approaching long time as an exponential decay like in a classical system. You can call it if you want classical. I don't call it classical. I don't think there is any transition from quantum to classical. Uh, Graham is known to make mistake. Uh, but I'm just, uh, we have started working on it. So, so we we 
must thank to the speaker for a, such a dedicated and so long he was giving to us. No, 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 not much long. <laughs> Oh, it was too long. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. So, at last, I must thank Vimanda for coming our department. Actually, let me stay, uh, tell you, when I was PhD student at the early 90s, Devshankar uh, Rai, Kampanda, Vimanda, they are you know, very young and starting very hard working. Kampanda was not known at all. And I can see still Vimanda is as hard working as before and that is really yeah. for the young generation <laughs> for the young generation this is really your relation that you know the person is so hard working and is so enthusiastic to tell his things. Thank you Vimanda. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so Charles Thank you.